Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Bear Dynamic MMX200 Wireless. Now, this is a really interesting headset and a very comfortable one, and it's actually really nice in a number of different ways that I'm going to get into in this video. But I wanted to highlight immediately that I'm using the microphone throughout the video because it is a very nice sounding microphone that complements a really good headset, which has some quirks to it. So it's not the most user friendly and I'll get into that in a little while later, but it does have both Bluetooth and wireless connectivity and a ridiculous battery life. So there's a lot to like here. So stick with me as I go into all the different things that are cool about it. There are some other things that aren't immediately obvious as well. For example, on the side, you'll see some tiny little microphones for something that's called augmented mode that I'll get to in a minute. But the things that struck me immediately were the gaming sounds, the comfort and other things. So I've been using it for a while now both in Bluetooth and wireless mode, with wireless being the one mode to use for PC gaming. And I found the positional audio on this headset to be fantastic for a game like Tarkov, for example, where footsteps and sounds are really important. Being able to position where that audio is coming from and listen out for that sort of thing. This headset does a really good job of it. Now it is a closed back headset, which means it blocks out a lot of the surrounding world, which is fantastic in some ways and not so much in others. I've missed the doorbell a couple of times. My wife's got grumpy about that, but I've really enjoyed the audio that this has delivered and the comfort too. Now out of the box, you get the headset itself, a charging cable, a microphone which is detachable as you can see and then this little dongle now it's a USB-C dongle for the wireless connectivity and this is low latency dongle which plug into PC and other things as well but it also comes with an adapter so you can either plug it into a USB-C port on your PC or other device and I'll show you what I mean by that in a little while and then it'll immediately connect the alternative to that is if you don't have a usb-c port then you can use the adapter to plug it in instead now this is a fairly tiny dongle the result of that is the range isn't amazing on it so i have found it disconnects if i leave the room and go too far from it but it does reconnect pretty swiftly and with relative ease as well the headset itself supports Bluetooth 5.3 as well which is important to remember and I'll show you the steps and things for that in a minute because I want to talk about some of the unuser friendly parts of the headset in that way but first you can see it has an extendable headband nice metal headband some good tilt in the ear cups there as well and it's really got some good clamping force on it so it does have quite a tight clamping force I don't feel like it's gonna fall off your head but not enough that it's putting pressure on my head now you can see also that the cushioning on the ear cups is really nice and they are round ear cups which could be problematic for some people but i'll get to that in a minute and then you have a volume wheel which is able to be pushed in so you can push it in and then buttons on either side so there's a button here for switching between bluetooth and wireless mode for example you also have the connection for the charging cable and for the microphone on that side and then the other side is the power button now all of these buttons are actually multi-function and it's worth referring to the manual to find out what they all do because there are some eccentricities to that and different things that each of the buttons do you can play and pause music for example you can reject calls you can adjust the audio in other ways as well so we'll get to that in a second the ear cups are removable you can see you can twist them off underneath you've got 40 millimeter drivers which are more than capable of delivering excellent sound also there's a manual on the bear dynamic website about how to remove the battery from this headset so you can actually take that off unscrew the ear cups and then get to that access and be able to remove the battery which is good for the future if you want to be able to swap the batteries out it should keep the longevity of this headset going and the fact that the ear cups are removable means obviously you could replace those and you can get a replacement headband as well which is worth noting you will see the ear cups are really nice and squashy they have this memory foam cushioning to them and obviously also this faux leather material artificial leather material which is great for blocking out surrounding sound and noise from the world around you you can just focus on your game or your music or whatever you're doing and it's got some great sound delivery across the board i've been watching films with it i've been listening to music while building pcs i've been playing games that i found it's a great delivery of audio across all the different things nice bass and a good audio soundscape you've already heard the microphone you're hearing more of it now as we go through this a really impressive microphone for a headset it's not often that you'll see a gaming headset with a good quality microphone especially one that looks pretty small this is a fairly small microphone 
fairly compact. Now there are some downsides to it that are worth noting. There is no side toner standard, so you cannot hear yourself through this microphone. Unfortunate because you can't hear what you're sounding like. And obviously with the passive noise cancellation you get from the ear cushions, you might end up shouting. So that's one of the downsides to that. There's a updating tool for the firmware, but there's no software accompanying it. So you can't just turn the mic monitoring on, which is a bit of a downer. However, my friends immediately noticed the quality of the microphone and were impressed by it, especially when I usually use a standalone XLR microphone. They were shocked that this was just a headset mic. Now, in terms of the user friendliness of it, I want to talk about a few different things because you can power it on and immediately you'll get a notification inside the headset. So it'll tell you how much battery it's got left, which is pretty neat. And I do like that feature. You can use the USB-C dongle for more than just PC. You can see you can plug it into an Android phone, for example, and then you can use it to listen to music that way. So it will work with other devices. So it shouldn't be any problem with multi-device compatibility, which is pretty neat. There is an option to buy an additional cable, which I can't show you, unfortunately but will work with console as well. So you can plug in an augmented cable, which is a basically a 3.5 millimeter cable that comes with a USB-C connector on it. I can't show you that because I don't have it. Now, in terms of Bluetooth mode and wireless mode, there's a button on the side here below the volume button, which you're meant to press in various different ways to turn Bluetooth on and off. Obviously, you have to pair the device first of all. So you have to go through the pairing process and then once you've done that, it will connect. You can see that the lighting around the volume wheel changes color depending on what it's doing as well. So there's different indicators for that. It will tell you in battery life, it will tell you when it's in pairing mode, it will tell you what mode it's in audio wise, and then you can obviously get some playback from there and have some controls over it. Now, the reason that I found this a bit convoluted and difficult is because the button presses are a bit weird. So for example, you have to press that Bluetooth button three times in quick succession to switch to Bluetooth mode and then two times to put it back to low latency mode. So switching between the two modes is a bit of a pain and you can't run both at the same time. So there's no dual connectivity. You can't have Bluetooth and wireless running at the same time, which is a real shame because I have seen that on some other headsets. It seems a bit daft, but I feel like I had to refer to the manual multiple times in order to work out what the buttons do. And this isn't very user friendly. Now I've experienced multifunction buttons on various different headsets before, but this one seems a bit convoluted. For example, as I've said, you've got to press the Bluetooth button three times to get to Bluetooth mode, then twice to get back to low latency mode. But you'll also see that you can press it once to end and accept calls or press and hold it for two seconds to reject a call. Or you can press it once to briefly play music so you can do playback but there's no way to skip things, for example, there. Then in terms of the microphone muting, you press the volume wheel in, so you just gotta press it once and it'll mute it. But there's no audible cue to let you know you've done that, so you don't actually know that you're muted. And because there's no mic monitoring, you can't hear that you're muted, and there's no indicator to let you know that you're muted. So that's a bit of a strange one. However, as I said, you do get an audible cue when you turn the headset on, that will let you know it's on and then it will let you know that it's paired and it will also tell you how much battery life is left which is definitely beneficial because you know when you're going to need to plug it in and if you get a notification that it's running low when you've plugged it in already then you can just put a cable in and just keep running it like that on charge while also using it so it's not a problem there but I found I didn't have to plug it in very often at all. The other thing you'll spy is on the outside of the headsets there's two little holes on either ear cup. And that is for the augmented mode. The augmented mode is where you press that control wheel in, as in the volume wheel, for two seconds, and then it uses those little holes, because they're microphones, to listen to the world around you and let you hear what's going on around you. It's a bit weird. It's like having sort of active noise cancellation and you've turned it off, but it isn't really, because really what's happening is those mics are then being used to put sound into the ear cups instead. And that's the only way you can actually hear yourself through the microphone, which is a bit strange. So you have to actually turn augmented mode on to be able to hear yourself talking through the mic but then you're not hearing yourself through the microphone you're hearing yourself through the external microphones but it's a bit strange but it gives you the option to hear the world around you a bit more for example when i turn that on i can hear the fan noise on my pc more and other people talking to me or what's going on in the environment whereas when it's off you get a much more passively noise cancelled experience. So it's just much quieter and just more about the game and the sound. So I definitely prefer having the augmented mode off, but something to bear in mind.
this headset's really pleased me in terms of the gaming experience, especially when playing Tarkov and other games that rely on the sound uh, positional audio and sound cues from in the game. It also just delivers a really good bass and a really clear sound no matter what you're doing. I've enjoyed listening to music with it and playing games and it seems to work well over a range of games now the headset is said to offer around 35 hours of battery life i've actually found that it seems to be more than that or at least it feels like it's more in that i'm not feeling like i'm plugging it in constantly and i think that's a good test of how well the headset does is how often you have to plug it in and bearing in mind that i use it a lot because i've been listening to things while i've been editing videos while i've been playing games while i've been building pcs listening to music switching between the two different modes of bluetooth and wireless trying it on different devices and the experience has just been a really superb one now comfort is something that's worth talking about as well obviously this isn't going to be for everybody as i said it's got quite a strong clamping force the other thing about it is that the ear cups are round so you don't have a load of space in there now Previously, when I've seen other round ear cups, other than the wired version of this headset, which I've also tested, is something like the Corsair Virtuoso, for example. Similar style in that round ear cup design. With that, I found it as putting pressure on my ears from the top and bottom and the depth of the drivers as well. I haven't found the depth of the ear cups to be a problem here, so I'm not finding that it's pressure from the outside, but maybe it does touch the top and bottom of my ears a little bit. I feel like the cushioning is really good on these, so it's not a problem. But if you've got particularly large ears, then you might struggle with it. And that's one downside to these. However, you've got bare dynamics quality in terms of the build quality. Good, solid build quality. Well built. Very comfortable to wear. Really nice padding. Fantastic sound. Great sounding microphone. There are loads of things to like about this. The real downside for me is just how fiddly it is switching between modes and the button usability and things like that. And obviously not having the dual connectivity to be able to have Bluetooth and wireless at the same time is a bit of a downer. But otherwise, a fantastic headset and well worth considering as an option. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this useful. If you did, check out the links in the description to find out more. I'll leave all the specs down there as well in case you're curious. And let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.